everyone. I'm Charles Laughlin. I'm here with Tom and Laura Evers from First Place Promotions and Awards. We're here at Harvard, Illinois. This is a laser engraved plaque, right? Mm -hmm. I'm always curious how things like this get made, so uh, you're going to walk us through that process today, Yes, right? we are. So how long does it take typically to make something like this? Well, it depends on the size, but something that big, uh, not too long. The biggest part is the setup, setting up your graphics and your text and everything the way you want it. And then once that's done, um, it's just up to the laser to engrave it. Great, so we're going to go see how it's done then. All right, let's do it. Okay, Tom, so what happens next? Okay, so now we're going to uh, send the job to the laser engraver. And that's just like printing anything. Okay. Uh, you go to your print, and you choose the laser engraver, okay? And I'm actually going to send it in two separate steps, and I'll show you why. Um, first of all, there's two ways that uh, the laser works. One is raster, and one is vector. Vector is a cutting. Mm -hmm. It actually cuts wood or plastic or acrylic. Okay. Um, and raster is the actual engraving of whatever you're going to put in there. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to, and I, I, I told you about the um, template that I made. Mm -hmm. Okay. I made this template, and this is a hairline. And that's the only thing that the vector will do, will cut a hairline. Okay. Uh, but we're not going to cut it, but we're going to use it to make sure that the item is in the in the laser properly. Gotcha. So I go back to the printer. I got the laser. I'm going to select vector. Uh, my piece size is already in here, 7 mm -hmm. by 9, 13 by 4. So I go to vector, and since we don't really want to cut it, I'm just going to put it on power 1 just to be safe. Okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the light and it's going to trace that line and we're going to make sure that'll show us that it's exactly in the right spot. Okay. Um, so I hit OK there and print. And now, so I don't have to come back. If it's all good, I go back to print. And this time I will check raster. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the actual engraving part of it. And again, I'm going to set it at 100 speed and 74 power and that's what we do for wood that tends to give us a really nice deep mark really crisp and it looks nice and I'm not going to focus it because I like to hand focus it I think we get a better, better okay. mark by hand focusing it sort of flying the plane instead of autopilot correct okay so all I have to do is hit print and it's at the laser that's Ready it okay so the next thing is we go to the machine huh? yep okay great so Tom tell us about what's what goes on inside here well, basically what you have is you have in the back, you have your laser tube, and that's the real guts of the, mm -hmm. of the machine. Um, once that heats up and you, and you send a job to it, what it'll do is it, it will send the laser beam out to this lens. The lens then directs it over here, and it hits this lens, goes through here, which focuses it, and then that creates the fire that will burn um, the material that we're going to engrave. Okay, so I guess the next thing is we'll see what actually happens. And is it a pretty fast process? Um, yeah, fairly fast. Uh, we have it set on 100 speed for this job. So, okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our cross. Okay. And remember I said I wanted to check it uh, before I engrave right. it. So I'm going to lower the bed so it gets in there. Get it in there. Place it in the upper left corner of the laser because that's the way we had it on our okay on our trap program. And like I said, I like to hand focus it so it's more consistent that way. Okay. So I have a little guy. I bring it up so it's just touching the item. And now I know it's focused. So now, in order to check this to make sure that my graphic is right, I'm going to turn on the light. And see this red dot that's showing? Okay, mm -hmm. that's going to, I've, I've set that to follow the outline of the cross. Okay. And if it's off somewhere, I'll know, so I can make adjustments with my graphics program. Okay. Okay. So that was the first um, one we sent to the, to the laser. So I find that here. And 
and we'll hit start. And now it's tracing it. So this is just making sure it's in the right place. Right, making sure that my um, the so cross that I set up in the graphics program matches the cross gotcha. that's in the and it looks pretty good right now. So far. Yeah. This way I know that the graphic I put in there and the text is centered right. where I want it to be. And this is good for unusual shaped objects like this. So that I like. So, good to go. Yep. Now, the great thing about this is a really safe machine because it will not fire when the lid is up. Okay. Okay. So I can't stick my hand in there and burn it off with a laser beam. <laughs> okay. And that's why I had the lid up there too, right. so it wouldn't fire while it was right. vacuuming there. So I'm going to close the lid. Okay. I'm going to bring up the other job I sent, and we're going to run it. So this is the this is the rest. Rubber's meeting the road here. Here we go. And you can see the flame of the laser there as it's burning the wood. Now I have two things on here. I have my exhaust on and I also have an air assist on and that, especially when you're doing wood, you want to have that on because that will keep the flame down. It okay. blows air on it so it doesn't flare up and hurt the lens at all. How hot does this thing get? Um, well, we got it on power 74 right now, so it's it's pretty hot. Okay. okay I can see the outline forming. And it's a circle that we put around it. And it, what it does is it, it engraves from top to bottom. So mm -hmm. as it comes across more stuff in the in the graphics, it'll start engraving that as well. Now okay. it's starting the um, the okay. text that was yeah. on the top of the. So I'm seeing the word first show up, so, uh, so we obviously started the right graphics. Yep. So what we're seeing here now is a uh, circle about half done. We have the word first communion, May 10th, 2014, so it's uh, coming along nicely. So we would say we're, this is about not quite half done? We're about halfway there, but yeah. remember we have a graphic at the bottom, so it's going to take a little longer to, sure. to engrave that. The bottom will probably take a little bit longer than the top did. Right. There you go. You can sort of see the lettering there. It's a very fast process. So this type of engraving, if you sort of say what percentage of your business is it represents? In terms of the engraving part of it, um, we probably do 90% laser engraving on anything that we engrave. Okay. Almost done. Actually, I didn't, I meant to time this whole thing, but this is a all matter of, well, ten, or is it timed on it there? It actually times here, so I know exactly how long it took. About a 10 minute process? Uh, right less now, than that. We're at seven minutes right now. Seven minutes. That's pretty amazing that in a matter of less than ten minutes you can create something like this. Now obviously if we didn't have the border it would have taken a lot less. But sure. The border takes up a lot of time because it's got to go to each side right. and, and fire and go back. So the graphic's finished here. Yeah. Now we just got the border to finish up and we'll be done. Sort of like watching stop motion animation. <laughs> It'll get going pretty fast here as it gets yep. closer. And there it is. Okay. We have a fully engraved cross. I always like to check it before I pull it out. How's it look? It didn't fire up real quick uh, right away, right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run it for a second. Redo the top part? I just put that top part, and that should do it. All right. Yeah, that's much better. 
Yeah, and it looks really good. Now all we have to do is clean it up and send it down its way. All right, great.